Cincinnati's police chief is fighting back tonight after being accused of looking the other way on overtime by some of his officers. Chief Elliot Isaac says the figures in a draft audit are not accurate, but the problems for the chief and the department don't end there. Local 12's Anjanette Levy has been following the latest developments. She's in Mount Adams with where things stand now and what's next. Anjanette? Well, Rob, there are certainly a lot of questions tonight about whether or not police overtime was abused at the Cincinnati Police Department. The state auditor of the state of Ohio will conduct an independent audit of the overtime at the request of the Hamilton County prosecutor. So we wanted to know, is any of this illegal as alleged? Tonight we tried to find out. Cincinnati Police Captain Jeff Butler claims former District 5 Captain Bridget Bardua abused overtime. Butler also claims two of her subordinates did the same and that Chief Elliot Isaac did nothing about it despite his warnings. Butler claims it was because of an inappropriate relationship between Bardua and Isaac. Chief Isaac said today Butler's figures in his initial audit were inaccurate and inflated. Butler's numbers had Bardua earning $82,700 in overtime last year, but the department says she actually earned just shy of $72,000. Sergeant Jason Volkerding's overtime was reduced from $126,200 to $94,600, and Sergeant Jason Scott's decreased from $92,215 to $58,700. Assistant Chief Terry Thiege says the number previously reported by the media didn't take into account overtime reimbursed to the department for services provided for off-duty details. Even so, City Council Member David Mann is concerned about the overtime. At some point, I expect to bring that issue before the Budget and Finance Committee and have a conversation about uh, how we can better control that going forward. CPD records show Bardua and Volkerding earned hundreds of hours in overtime by attending meetings. Captain Butler claims he saw Chief Isaac's car parked in Bardua's driveway when she was supposed to be working overtime. Captain Butler claims the overtime abuse by Bardua constituted felony theft, but defense attorney Jay Clark isn't so sure. Based on everything I've had a chance to look at, I think that's kind of putting the cart before the horse. I don't think we have near enough information. And Chief Isaac said in a statement earlier today that he welcomed the audit by the state of Ohio and he would comment further after that audit is complete. I also reached out to several city council members tonight. None of them wanted to comment on this at this point. Reporting live from Mount Adams, Anjanette Levy, Local 12 News. Rob, back to you. Anjanette, thanks very much. Since Butler's overtime audit leak, Captain Bartowa has been transferred from District 5 to Vice. Captain Butler was transferred from inspections to the police Academy. He believes his transfer was an act of retaliation. Butler is suing the city for being denied an assistant chief's position.